And a lot of the boomers now are flying. Like, the boomers are flying in, in, in large numbers now. And the boomers are flying to go visit and torture and torment their children. This is why boomers are traveling all over the country, is to go to where their children have been forced to live and laugh at them. This is what boomers like to do. They go, that you pay this for that? That's the whole point. Anytime a boomer gets in a plane, it is so that the plane can land and they can go uh, to their child, uh, their children's house and go, oh my God, this is what, this is what you are living in? This is how you live? And the reason for that is because boomers refuse to sell their houses. Boomers are 85 years old, riddled with four cancers, and will not sell their house unless they make $900,000. Mm-hmm. They have impoverished an entire generation of people that cannot get into the real estate market because boomers themselves refuse to leave. There's all kinds of articles about this now, and it's hilarious. Boomers will not relinquish their hold on suburban real estate in America. They won't. They won't do it. If they took a little less money, for example, for their house, if the boomers went, you know what? I'll take a little less money for this house and I'll I'll just put it back on the market so that someone else could have a shot. But boomers are sitting there. They've got 17 pills they take every day just to stay alive. And they pick up the phone and the real estate agent goes, maybe we could do this. We can get you this. And they go, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You will never get this house for under 1.9. They refuse to leave because it's their biggest coup d'etat. The, the, the boomer having a McMansion in, in a place like Long Island is the thing that they have that allows them to, they're the lord of the manor, mm-hmm. and they can, they can impress upon their children what failures they are because they don't live in the, in the style that the boomers live in. Now, the boomers, of course, will leave out, all the advantages they had to get said house, but they will not relinquish that because that is the thing that they have. You know, this is the thing that they have. This is the way that they judge. There was an article, why boomers will not move into uh, more size appropriate homes, which I love because boomers are, you know, if, if anything, they are selfish. They like themselves which makes them funny. That's what makes them really, really funny. Um, And the reason that they won't leave these houses is because they cannot imagine trying to live in in, in a more simple way, even in like the twilight of their days. In the twilight of their days, they need more space. And then their millennial children can't afford any of this. So they're on planes now complaining about everything, waiting for the plane to land, so their first stop is going to go to their children's house and then go, oh, my God, you're, it's so small here. It's very small. I mean, I feel so bad for your gen. You know, when we were coming, I mean, we worked harder than you guys, of course. And we had a lot more to deal with. But, you know, at least you got something for your money. You got a little something. For your money. It's like you're the reason. You are the reason. We, are, we have the oldest Congress in American history. These people will not retire. Boomers hold on for dear life to everything, to everything. They are falling down in the halls of Congress. They will not leave. They will not quit. This is why the world looks the way it does. It's being run exclusively by, like, elderly boomers who will not leave. They, they are afraid of not running the show. Um, you know, they will not, yeah... According to a recent Merrill Lynch retirement study of more than 3,600 respondents, 49% of retirees didn't downsize in their last move, and 30% actually ended up (laughs) moving into larger homes. This is how sick some of these people are. They go, I'm 100, and I want more. I want a bigger home. I want a bigger home 
to show my kids what losers they really are. (laughs) That's really what it comes down to. I want a mansion now to show my kids how much better I've done than them. They will not let go. They will not let go. Diane, what's her name? A Feinstein died in office. She was a corpse for years. Died in office. Our president, he will not step aside. He won't step aside. It's 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 kind of a common thing to the the whole boomer thing is just hold on to it. Mm-hmm. Hold on for dear life. But I see them, you know, when you get on a plane, obviously there's people of all ages, but you'll just kind of key in on the boomers and they're just kind of it's very judgmental. And you know, they're in like economy plus. You know, they paid just a little bit more. They've paid just a little bit more so they can harass the flight attendant a standard deviation more. Then the people in the back, they have a little bit of status. And maybe some of them are in first. Who knows? But they're all just traveling to some city where their children live. And they can go and judge them for how they live. And they never make the connection that, oh, none of us have put our homes back on the market. None of us have, God forbid, taken a little bit less and simplified our lives. You know, so that we're effectively locking out Because, by the way, guess who loves the Black Rock and everybody giving everybody crazy money? The boomers. Mm -hmm. They go, yeah, you you give me that $2 million. They love it. They love it. They'll tell you. One of the favorite pastimes of anyone over a certain age, they'll tell you what they can get for their house. (laughs) Immediately. You don't don't even ask. You do not even. And they do it on holidays, like on Christmas and stuff. They they know why they're doing it, too. They know exactly why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. They sit immediately. They go, yeah, yeah. They go, you want to hear something crazy? And you're like, and usually when someone says that, you want to hear something crazy, you would think they're going to tell you something crazy. (laughs) You know, like some crazy story they heard. When a boomer says you want to hear something crazy, they just want to tell you the exact amount of money they have. That's exact. They go, no, no, no. Come here. Listen to this. I bought this for 200000 You know what they tell me I could get now? 1.8. Isn't that something? But guess what? I ain't leaving for under two. 